everyone i'm back here on this video today to give you guys part two of the uh, of the um story i was talking about about how my best i betrayed my best friend so oh my dragon is sick and again this is a uh, story time gameplay so if you're not here for the gameplay we're not doing this um all right i need to heal them but how okay anyway um i actually haven't been here in a while like on my youtube i just been on tumblr and like insta and stuff like that and i just like i've been busy like i've been painting my room i just been like you know going to work and the usual type deal and i just been doing other stuff and like i have different other plans but now I'm trying to get back into this whole YouTube deal. And I'm honestly like trying to update my channel. So you will not find certain videos in this channel anymore. Like I used to have like videos on my dog and cat and some of my pets. And I had to take those out for, you know, my personal uh, channel for my personal YouTube that has my real name on it. But that's just how it's going to be now. It's more of like a privacy thing. And for those of you that... you that liked my cat or my dog i'm sorry i mean this is just how it has to go and you know maybe you'll find them in any other of my social media that i have posted here so you know they ain't gone forever but it's it is like a privacy thing that i just like you know need to take care of but <clears throat> now that i'm back um, I'm just gonna like update y'all on some of the stuff that's been going on like, you know I also I have my other YouTube channel. It's Emmy Wolf Productions. So now you guys know and like Let's see And like I'm moving a lot of the content that is copyrighted or doesn't belong to me over there So if a lot of you guys liked the stuff that I used to translate if you guys liked some of the YouTube poops some of the jokes uh, it's all over there guys so it's not gone forever you know it took a lot you know it took a lot of work and it was like stressful but you know throughout the days i was able to take care of it and it's all over there in that channel now it's emmy wolf productions and i did like stop making that type of content like you know with content that doesn't belong to me you know to put it on that channel but now you know since certain people keep requesting that i translate certain episodes and certain things i will do that it's just gonna take a while <laughs> like translating stuff is not easy you know <laughs> it, you know it takes a while so i am sorry but i will get to it someday in the future and yeah i think that's all for the update i'm kind of out of breath i just like i just been like i don't know like busy and eating don't be busy and eating but it's my day off so you know what i'm saying like I'm, i still have my job i still have to like you know work and be busy it's today is like the weekend so i have to like uh do chores and all that stuff so for right now i'm doing this little video and i don't want it to take forever like some of my videos do because i just tend to like talk forever and ramble and just keep going like talking about some nonsense so I'm going to try to get to the point in this one. I am so sorry if I annoy you guys. Like, I get it. <laughs> but, yeah. <clears throat> so, um, another thing I wanted to talk about is, like, my Tumblr. So, you know, if you guys, like, want to ask me personal questions or any questions, you go to my Tumblr. It is Emmy Wolf. Well, Emmy with two Y's and Wolf easy peasy you know you find me over there and you ask me like whatever questions you want whoa <clears throat> you ask me whatever questions you want and like my instagram is emmy with two y's under underscore wolf so you guys can find me over there like on my instagram i'm now posting art like it's gonna be all my deviant art you know drawings or whatever and um on tumblr like I guess I'm posting the same art from Instagram, but I'm making it more like a conspiracy type uh, page. So if you guys can, you know, 
go show me some love over there support me if you guys like conspiracy theories and you want to talk about what is going on you know in this day and age with all of this nonsense that you know i really like can't even stand so you know a lot of the times like it bothers me <laughs> but you know i like to share the truth and we need to get to the truth you can handle the truth and so that's basically what it's all about like you know um i used to like uh watch conspiracy theories back then but now i'm back in the game like that's my thing now you, you know so you know it's good it's good to keep like learning even if you don't agree with it but it's information regardless and yeah so also on my instagram you're, you're gonna see a lot of like conspiracy theory type shit too Whew. i am just exhausted oh. another thing i wanted to talk about is like um what was it I wanted to tell y'all? Basically, oh baby dear. We're trying to get these guys just Yeah. I need to finish this like quests. So that's the problem right now. I still haven't played this game. Oh, uh, another thing I wanted to talk about is like I'm gonna start playing other games too now. Like, this game is entertaining, and it's just quest after quest, and I feel like at the very end of this story, it gets crazy, but I need to play other games, too. Like I said, I'm not going to stop playing this game. I, I'm just going to play other games as well. So, I feel like that's all for the updates, you know. Um, if I can think of more, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> Am I in the jungle right now? Oh, my goodness. There's no Bambies here. Oh, my goodness, no. Where's the mountains? Where's the mountains? Let me catch the horse. I'm supposed to catch a deer, but having a horse is good too. There we go. There we go. I have a horse in my pocket. What do you know? Now to find a deer. Huh. Huh. Where can I find a deer? Like, I did want to update you guys on some other stuff as well, but right now I'm just exhausted. Maybe I'll remember later. But let's get back into the story time. I got other story times for the future. <laughs> and in this story time, remember how I said we had two characters? We had Jay. And she was like the, like the bigger girl. And we had Giraffe. And she was like the very skinny girl. So it's two complete polar opposites, I know. And Emmy Wolf, aka me, I was like the chubby in the middle girl. But that's how it was. And, you know, I'm going to change the name Giraffe because that's just offensive and it's not right. Like, I wanted like a name to describe her. But it's like, you know, <laughs> I don't know what to think of. So the best like representation of her and what I can like, you know, call her like, what she looked like, like the closest description to her, would be that one character from that one movie, Corpse Bride. So literally, yes, this girl kind of looked like the Corpse Bride. And I just feel like that's the best name because, ooh, a snake in the jungle. I guess I'm in the jungle now. Run, run as fast as you can. So yeah, from here on out, Giraffe is going to be called corpse bride because that's what she looks like and we're not gonna call her like emily what her name was we're gonna call her just corpse bride there's the deer we're gonna get her. we got her we got you we got you miss deer <laughs> oh yes we did maybe we need a male deer too but i feel like miss deer will work where can i find a boy deer boy deer no, oh, come on. Why do I gotta walk so slow? So yeah, from here on out, it's gonna be Jay, Emmy Wolf, and Corpse Bride. Because that's what they looked like, I guess. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's what we're going with. Like, don't judge me. I, I don't know. I don't know how to do these story times. Like, I'm just going along with it. <laughs> with what I can remember. So, 
Yeah, so uh, it was first just Emmy Wolf and Jay from middle school. And as time went on in high school, we, I mean, Jay introduced Corpse Bride to Emmy Wolf. And from there on out, it was, you know, the three of them. They became a trio, uh, a, gr a group of friends, you know, three group, three girls, you know, that were now like friends, <laughs> basically. And later on, it turned out that Corpse Bride lived close to Emmy Wolf, so Emmy Wolf and Corpse Bride would take the bus, to, uh, <laughs> the bus, okay, together. So they literally rode the bus together, and so on. And they just became really close, like real close. Anyway, um, as time went on, you know, Emmy Wolf would, would complain to Corpse Bride about how um, Jay is kind of like abusive and manipulative and she just like didn't know how to like stand up for herself sometimes when jay would just you know be like controlling and corpse bride would like be like yeah you need to stand up for yourself or whatnot <clears throat> um where's the deer i just need a boy deer grown bambi where are you oh, i'm running out of breath it's just hot over here Anyway, so it was the three of them and Emmy Wolf was like, like getting upset and, you know, getting just, she was almost like done with Jay. Like, even though they were like friends for a while, they were like friends for almost two years at that point. And <clears throat> uh, Corpse Bride was the one that was like newer to the team. So it was kind of that, um that type situation <laughs> um later on as time went by um we met miss daddy issues that i mentioned in the previous story we're gonna have to give her a name because like i don't want to call her daddy issues <laughs> like what kind of name is that um and i kind of don't want to use like the letter of her name like i feel like that would be obvious uh um what name can we give Daddy Issues? We're gonna give her the name... Who looks like her? To be honest. No. We're gonna call her... I'm gonna give her a completely different name. Her name is gonna be Victoria. And she kinda looked like that girl from... Um, What's that movie with that girl? Was it Miss A? Like, I forgot the, the movie, like, with that girl. I think it was Miss A. I don't know. I, I, I'll remember, like, <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to, like, Google it, like, real quick. Like, <laughs> oh, my God, I see the deer. I see the deer. I see a regular ass deer. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! I've done it. What? What an idiot. This is why you can't play these type of games on iPhone. But let me come back and I'll do a quick Google search and catch my breath. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I guess Victoria looked more like Emma Stone, like the actress from that one movie, Cruella, like the newest live-action uh, Cruella movie. So that that's basically what Victoria looked like. And um, so, yeah, it's, it was Jay, Emmy Wolf, and I mean, <laughs> I almost forgot the team. Okay, it's Jay, Emmy Wolf, Corpse Bride, and Victoria. So... Now, it was like a group of four, and so now it was like four of us. Um, and the thing of, about, like, um, what's her name, uh, Victoria, like I said, it was like she kind of like had daddy issues, but I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Like, when people said daddy issues, I never really understood what that meant, I guess, you know, because I'm not, like, American. Like, I, I, you know, English ain't my first language, so... You know, I, I'm guessing it was someone who was, like, from a broken home or something like that. Like, daddy issues, that's what it sounds like. But 
the thing about Victoria and like the nicest way I'm gonna put it is that this girl was boy crazy. This girl, like we were, I guess 14, 15, but Victoria, unlike the rest of us, like the three of us, she was, you know, boy crazy. Like I said, like there's no other way to explain it unless I use like slur words and I don't wanna be like using that type of language. <laughs> so basically yes you know victoria was out there doing what she does and like some people call it she was she wasn't wasting any time like she ain't wasting no time you know that's how some people say it but at 14 15 you know uh, emmy wolf jay and corpse bride weren't doing any of that you know we were 14 15 and you know jay was super religious emmy wolf was pretty religious herself you know and it's like we're, we're children and like this girl victoria she was out there doing adult things that adults do you know to make babies but you know the three of us weren't doing any of that and that's just how victoria was at that point but regardless like even though this girl seemed like she was like from a broken home or whatnot like and it wasn't just like it seemed like it it was more like the way she talked it was like her language like the things she would say like you wouldn't hear regular 14 15 year olds saying the things that victoria was saying for example and you know uh emmy wolf and corpse bride and jay they weren't like using any of that language you know but that's how she was and we like felt bad and like if we told her hey no you can't be our friend um whatever it was kind of not us you know what i'm saying <sighs> god damn Guys, don't ever like eat like something big and then like like make a speech. I don't know. Whew. I need to slow the F down. Um, I'm trying to go back to my house in the game. Um, mm -mm, I'm lost. I am so lost. And I'm I need food, as you can see on the food log up there. Um, anyway. I'm gonna try to make this video uh, go faster and you know after this I have to go shooting anyway like go practice shooting uh, yes like it's good to like be able to you know own your protection and you know be able to protect yourself and practice and especially me because I'm trying to get into like um, law enforcement or any something in law enforcement I don't know what yet but since I'm like just doing like security now uh, I want to like you know be ready if I ever choose to be in law enforcement so you guys especially women I feel like it's very necessary for a woman to be protected like that I'm not gonna use the word g-u-n because nowadays like you can't even use those type of words but if you are watching this video and you're like a woman um yes like it's good to like practice 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 you know the pew pew you know what I'm saying so I'm just gonna leave that out there like it's really good even though it looks like it's like a guy thing it's not it's really not like just go watch videos where like women do this and you like as a woman usually women have smaller hands and you can literally have a small pew pew you know what i'm saying so yes do it <laughs> do it for your own good and always like be safe but practice practice does the trick anyway moving on back into the story so now it was the four of them, you know, the four of them. I'm not going to say all their names, but you said it over and over. <laughs> the team of four. I should give this team a name, but I don't know. We're going to call it the E, J, V, C group. <laughs> no, that's stupid. We're just going to call it any wolf team. We're going to call it the team. <laughs> the team <laughs> there we go the team that works <laughs> anyway as time goes on and you know these girls are now like almost like besties and they're doing everything together like every day they would go to lunch together and you know it wasn't just emmy wolf and jay forever and ever you know so it was more like comfortable at this point you know because it wasn't as lonely and you know you wouldn't feel as much of a reject now that you would have like five i mean four supporters and you know and such like like i don't know how to explain it like it wasn't as lonely it was more like protective and you felt safer i guess 
So as time goes on, we meet another teammate, <laughs> another friend. This girl, and I'm starving. I need food. Help, anyone? Ah, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. What the freak am I gonna have to do? Freak! I don't like this game because of this. Because of this. Like, why are you making me hungry? I don't want to be hungry. Arr. Dang, that was tough. I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go home. Uh. Dang. I have like a compass down here, but I don't think that works. To 400, like what? 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 I want to go home. Huh. Let's go over here. Anyway, freaking, we meet a new friend. And this friend was introduced to us by Corpse Bride. And just like Corpse Bride, this friend was pretty tall. And you know what? Actually, Victoria was pretty tall too. Like, Emmy Wolf and Jay were the shortest ones. So it was like the three of them uh, plus the new girl. So it would be the new girl and Victoria and Corpse Bride who were like the taller girls in the uh, group. And, you know, they were in good shape. <laughs> so it would be like these three uh, model-ish girls with these two short chubby rejects <laughs> it's just how it was you know anyway if i find the ocean it means i'm close to home <laughs> where's the ocean huh where's the ocean oh man how did humanity do this on their own like did they ever get lost how did people like find their way using the stars do i have to use the stars too now there's, I guess, some kind of Milky Way over there. Some kind of explosion. Um, blue star, I guess. Damn, I don't know. Where's the ocean? This is frustrating. Uh, um, okay, so this new friend, uh, we'll call her... Shayat. I have no clue. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, give these people, like, names that will like show what they kind of looked like <laughs> but like this girl i don't know like <laughs> and i still to this day talk to this girl like she's like a close friend of mine i don't talk to jay in this day and age i don't talk to corpse bride um i don't talk to victoria and i still talk to this one girl that i'm about to explain to this day <laughs> but what does she like who does she look like for me to like tell you guys hey this person looks like this person oh my goodness do i fly to the moon do i fly to the moon ah i am stuck all alone not knowing where to go do i have to die do i have to die oh no I'm trying to find my way home. Find my way. Find my way. Find my way home. I need to find my way. Find my way. Find my way home. Anyway. And um, this girl, she looked at the time she had like red hair and she was like curly haired, just like Corpse Bride. They were both like kind of like Hispanic-ish girls, you know, because that's the area that I live at and I need food again. So they both had like really, like really curly hair, but it wasn't like Afro-ish hair. It was more like just Hispanic type curls type hair. <laughs> uh, I am, I'm going to take myself out <laughs> in the game because <laughs> how do I go home? <laughs> that's the only way. Ah! Reincarnation. Ah, is this the heavens? Ah, 
No, it's not. <laughs> I was teleported. Do I have my sh Okay, yes, I have my sh uh, shoes. I'm trying not to cuss. So, just so you know. I feel much better being at home. Doesn't home feel like freaking safe? I need to make a compass. I need to make a compass. But let me finish this quest and this story. So this new friend, we're gonna call her... Um, Kate? That works, yeah, we're gonna call her Kate. K-A-T-E, I think that's how you spell Kate. So Kate, she looked like a... She was a pretty girl, guys, like, like she was very pretty. I don't know what it was, but like this girl was kind of like a model. <laughs> I mean, no, she wasn't like a model, I don't know. Like, honestly, like, I don't know how to explain her, guys. She was just pretty. Like, she was the prettiest one out of all of us. Uh, Victoria wasn't pretty. Like I said, she looked like uh, Emma Stone. Emma Stone. But she looked like the great value version of Emma Stone. No offense. She looked like the great value of Emma Stone. And, like, she was really, really basic. And just, you know, even though she wore no makeup, she was, like, she was basic, guys. Like... Even though she was boy crazy and all the boys, like, they didn't waste no time with her either. <laughs> but she was basic. Like, she was not looking like no model. She was not looking like Kate. She was not looking like no celebrity. But she, you know, she was still doing what she did. <laughs> now, talking about Kate. Kate wasn't like Victoria, like, either. Like, come on, we're children. Like, <laughs> Kate wasn't doing none of that. Like, we would already know. So it was just pretty much Victoria, the one that was with the daddy issues, I guess. And, um, you know, regarding religion and all of that, like, you don't have to be religious. Like, I wasn't that, I mean, Emmy Wolf wasn't that religious. And I don't think Kate was either or a cor uh, Corpse Bride. But we certainly weren't, like, trying to freaking get it on as fucking 15, 14 year old dumbasses. Like, <laughs> whatever, guys. That was just how it was i guess right we weren't gonna ditch victoria because like you know we're not gonna tell her not to be our friend like come on dude who does that you know what i'm saying <laughs> anyway uh so now it was a group of five girls we did everything together i mean talking third person they did everything together it was emmy wolf jay corpse bride kate and victoria i hope that makes five I think that makes five. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I, I'm thinking it was five. <laughs> yeah, that makes five. Because like I said, Emmy Wolf and like Jay were the only two. They were like the two awkward, chubby g little girls. And the other girls were like, uh, I guess, more fit and taller. So that's how that was, you know? <clears throat> Um, hold on guys, I need to... Okay, so let me continue the story. I'm trying... Hold on. Let me fix this game. Did I, did I get my weapons? Let me get my weapons. So yeah, um... Victoria, I mean... So now that we were like a group of five, basically, um, you know... Jay, you know, she, the way she was, like, how she was, like, super religious and super duper, you know, like, strict with that. Like, even though Jay accepted Victoria into our group um, from the start, she kind of started to, like, disagree with kind of, like, the way she spoke, the way Victoria spoke, like, the type of language she would use and the type of stories she would say. And the stories that Victoria would tell the team, it would be like some bizarre type of stories, like things that you don't really hear on the regular, not even from adults. Like, I don't even believe like I heard adults my age talking this way <laughs> and casually. Like, I'm not going to say the things that she would say for now, <laughs> I guess. But it was, yeah, it was not, it was bizarre. <laughs> But, like I said, you know, Jay kind of started to, like, 
back off and she would like not show up when we were supposed to do something together and she would like you know kind of start disappearing and dismissing and just not showing up and we would all wonder what she's up to or what is wrong with her and this went on for i guess a couple months and the thing i believe is that emmy wolf had a, like a class with her with jay and one day they had to meet up with the team to go to a pep rally or so the story goes <clears throat> or so the story goes and emmy wolf and jay they had a chance to just be together just alone with each other and this is where jay basically confessed how she felt about victoria so you know since jay and emmy wolf started out together you know she kind of more she felt more like i guess comfortable like opening up to emmy wolf about you know her behavior i guess and so she told emmy wolf that you know Victoria isn't right, you know, she shouldn't be doing the adult things she's doing and talking about the adult things she does, the bizarre stories that she tells them, that basically the team should ditch Victoria altogether. And Emmy Wolf, like, she understood what Jay was getting to, and Emmy Wolf knew that Jay was pretty much right. Even though Emmy Wolf felt bad for this Victoria girl, Emmy Wolf also wanted her gone. Like, Emmy Wolf felt that she shouldn't be hearing the things that Victoria would be telling them. So, basically, like, Emmy Wolf and Jay, like, they say, hey, you know, we should, like, well, no, actually, they didn't plan on doing anything. They just agreed that Victoria wasn't okay. Like, Victoria wasn't right in the head. And, you know, they didn't plan on leaving her or anything. They were just basically talking smack about Victoria together. And that was where the conversation was going to stay. <laughs> there was no there was no action that was going to be taken against Victoria or anything. It was just a quick smack talk, I guess. <laughs> and, you know, they were 14, 15-year-old children that didn't know anything about that world. The only one who knew about that world was Victoria <laughs> and it was obvious that Corpse Bride and Kate's also didn't know about that world <laughs> like they weren't behaving the way Victoria was they didn't have boyfriends they didn't have you know their love their lover they didn't have their so you know I don't know what to call it anymore they didn't have a husband so like come on so it was clear that just Victoria you know she was she wasn't wasting all time. So, but Emmy Wolf, like she, like she did not like the way Victoria was like talking. So she came up with the plan herself to have the entire team basically ditch Victoria because Emmy Wolf was just done hearing her bizarre stories that could have probably been fake. Like who knows? But Emmy Wolf just decided that it's best for the team to live to ditch Victoria and not be with her anymore. Like this girl was negative negatively I don't fucking know. Influencing the team. Let me get this to you. There we go. There we go. You see guys, this is why you gotta learn to shoot. No mofo mofo <laughs> No, you can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. Come on. Come on. Go. Go. I don't even know where I got that weapon. <clears throat> so, yeah, while the, most of us were more like nerdy girls, the vast majority of us, basically all of us except Victoria, you know, that's, that's, kind of how it went <laughs> like I don't know how to tell stories anymore you guys I'm losing it <laughs> let me see let me get spiral over here get it spiral get it yes did we make it it says hunt deer and it's not working guys it's just not working any deer that you see that I get It's 
not working. It's not making the list. I think there's something wrong with the game. There's something wrong with this. Like, maybe I should just stop playing this game because something is wrong. Oh, Spyro. So, Emmy Wolf, she came up with that plan to, like, ditch Victoria on her own. Um, Jay, uh, Jay was not informed of this plan that Emmy Wolf came up with. And Emmy Wolf just wanted Victoria gone from the team. Somehow. So, she just, like, came up with a plan. And basically, Emmy Wolf thought that telling Corpse Bride about uh, what Jay was saying about Victoria, um, that Jay would be, like, right. Like, in Corpse Bride's eyes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, Jay was talking all that smack, you know, to Emmy Wolf about Victoria. And Emmy Wolf was agreeing with her. And Emmy Wolf thought that telling Corpse Bride about all the things that um <clears throat> all the things that jay said would make corpse bride um agree with jay and what she said i hope that made sense <laughs> like I, I don't know how to explain that <laughs> any other way and we have just thought that corpse bride would be like yes jay you're right like i should agree with you also yes uh victoria is not good for the team victoria is messed up she's a daddy issues she's doing all these adult things that we shouldn't be doing and then you know we would also have kate uh you know agree with us and you know turn against victoria altogether and it would just be like this easy peasy plan because the only one there saying messed up stories and saying messed up bizarre words and so on was victoria and nobody else and you know emmy wolf thought that basically all of them would just be in agreement to have victoria removed so Amy Wolf goes on and she goes tell Corpse Bride, hey Corpse Bride, you know, Jay was saying this about Victoria and she was saying that about Victoria. But Amy Wolf wasn't saying that she agrees with her. She was just saying, hey, um, you know, Jay said that Victoria is this, this and that because of that. And, you know, just explaining Victoria's behavior. And so that, you know, it doesn't look like Emmy Wolf is agreeing or disagreeing. She was just give, putting that idea out there, you know, to Corpse Bride. But instead, Corpse Bride decides to say that Jay is wrong, that she shouldn't be talking about, uh, she shouldn't be talking like that about Victoria, that, you know, they're all friends and that <clears throat> it doesn't matter. So, <clears throat> Emmy Wolf ended up making the biggest mistake of her life ever at all. <laughs> and sorry about that, guys. My video got caught in the middle of it. Like, everything was erased for no reason. Anyway, what I was trying to say, and in that moment that Emmy Wolf and Corpse Bride were having that conversation, and um, Emmy Wolf was kind of trying to direct the conversation into Jay being right. So... Before they even got to finish the conversation, that's when Kate and Victoria sh showed up. Like, they met up with, you know, Emmy Wolf and Corpus Bride. So, it was, like, the four of them now. And, you know, now they showed up and it was, like, we can't keep talking about that in front of them, you know. But, Corpus Bride had the wonderful idea, of course, to tell to tell Victoria that Jay was saying all of that stuff about her. Literally, literally Victoria and like, literally Corpse Bride ends up telling Victoria all of this. And oh my God, the, the absolute just insanity. <laughs> this was the worst idea that Emmy Wolf has ever had. Literally, Emmy Wolf ended up betraying Jay accidentally. Literally, like... <laughs> guys, I'm distracted with this game right now. Like, oh my god. I can't believe my, my previous video was deleted. That's right. That's right. What is that? What did I collect? Sign? I guess. Put a sign here. 
That's right. Oh no, my video was cut. My video was cut. But oh my god, Emmy Wolf ended up betraying Jay in that moment. It was just not fair. So literally corpse bride ends up telling victoria hey jay jay was saying this about you and she's saying this about you and she's calling you this type of word and she's calling you that type of word and victoria is just she makes like the most shocked face ever and she says how do you know and then you know emmy wolf was right there so then corpse bride ends up pointing out that emmy wolf was right there uh hearing what jay was saying and you know um not her name victoria ends up trying to confirm it with emmy wolf she's like emmy wolf you know you know where did this happen and just trying to find out the information and trying to <laughs> oh my god you guys just what has she done like what has emmy wolf done it was so messed up and it was crazy and victoria says that she's basically gonna tell jay off when Jay shows up. <laughs> oh my god, guys. My video got ruined. I was telling y'all more information before it got deleted. Anyway, I figured out this game. I figured out why you can't hunt the rest of the deer. You only have to hunt the male. So it's gonna be this one right here. Yep. Yuppity doopity. You see, it's up there in the list. So let's bring more boys out here so I can take them out. Out the way. That's not a boy. I need me a boy. A boy. Oops, that's an accident. <laughs> um, so yeah. Basically, Emmy Wolf ended up outing, you know, Jay in hopes that all of them would agree with Jay so that they could all, you know, what's that word? exclude yes exclude victoria um what's that other word when they send someone away i don't know you know remove her remove victoria from the team forever and ever and that didn't turn up turn out being the case at all <laughs> basically just demi wolf just ended up making you know jay look like the bad person like <laughs> you know <laughs> it was just yeah one of those i don't know what to tell you this is how the story went but anyway, moving on. Jay was supposed to... What? Okay. Jay was supposed to show up just moments later. So it was just like the four of them there. And now they were just waiting for Jay and Victoria. Since she kind of presents this like tough girl attitude. You can't tell me what to do attitude. She was gonna, she was gonna confront Jay. And she was gonna tell her off. And she was just gonna go... She was just gonna go off on Jay. In front of all of us and you know victoria was also the type of person that would talk smack about several different other female i mean several other girls throughout the school so she would tell us like stories about them she would tell us that all of those girls um throughout the school it was a big school like i said like we were now in the 10th grade and you know we weren't in that one ninth grade section where it was just ninth graders oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness why there's so much monsters why there's so much monsters so we were now in the big high school where it was 10th 11th and 12th graders like I said, you know, at first in the ninth grade, it was the three of them, Corpse Bride, Jay, and Emmy Wolf. But when they got to the 10th grade, that's where they met Victoria and Kate. And they became a team of five. <clears throat> and so on and so forth. But to continue the story, once Jay showed up, and, you know, this is the part that just Emmy Wolf will never forget. Like, this is where Victoria literally ends up confronting Jay in front of all of us. 
And in Jay's eyes, like, Jay couldn't, like, stop looking at Emmy Wolf. Like, why have you done this, Emmy Wolf? And Emmy Wolf just wanted to tell her, oh, my God, you know, I did this too so that, you know, we could get rid of Victoria. But Emmy Wolf just couldn't. She just couldn't because Kate and Corpse Bride were likely on more of, like, Victoria's side somehow for some reason <laughs> and like I said like at first we had accepted Victoria I mean they had accepted Victoria into the group because they weren't bad people like they you know <laughs> I guess you could say it just like happened like it just like happens like they weren't even thinking oh we're gonna accept you into the group oh we're not gonna accept you like it just kind of like happens you know Vic Victoria was just one of those people that one of them knew i guess you know it was corpse bride that knew her and maybe jay knew her at first too and then you know she became part of the team with emmy wolf in there and you know later on way later on that's when kate showed up so <clears throat> you know having been in the group where victoria was in there you know the team ended up finding out you know that victoria was the subject she was infamous in the entire high school. She was infamous. Like, she was the talk of the town, guys. Like, several kids throughout the school knew this person, Victoria. They knew, you know, some of her stories and what she does. Somehow, like, <clears throat> it appeared as though Victoria's bizarre stories were somehow true. Just because of the way that all of the school reacted to her. You know what I'm saying? And also, Victoria would be, you know, talking smack about half of the girls in the school. It was every single day. Every single day, whether we were at lunch or, you know, such. You know, Victoria would be there saying, hey, this girl, she's, you know, daddy issues. You know, this other girl is daddy issues. If you understand what I mean by that, of course. But let me get back on subject, you guys. I'm getting too just distracted here how do i shoot oh uh oh uh oh so getting back on subject yes that moment like emmy wolf had no idea what to do uh, basically just um k kate and jay i mean my bad kate and corpse bride decided they were on victoria's side even though the entire school hated victoria even though like emmy wolf and maybe the some of the rest of them were also losing friends outside of that because of victoria and what she was known for like even emmy wolf aka me like was losing several friends outside of the team like people that knew like victoria and the things she did or did not do to them and or you know just like her background they just couldn't stand her because of her background of being a 304 being a daddy issues like being a problem girl so you know somehow i guess like kate and corpse bride just wanted to keep this person in the team and they weren't well maybe not kate kate seemed kind of elusive to this whole problem like she was trying to avoid it out at all costs like she was trying to not even agree or disagree but the one disagreeing mostly was corpse bride and of course you know um victoria <clears throat> so that's how that story went did i finish this i finished the task guys now i need to find the alchemist uh, let's find this alchemist oh thank goodness oh thank goodness let me and i'm running out of breath because i have no ac right now and I work tomorrow, so I need to hurry up, hurry up, 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 Anyway, and so, you know, Jay was there just, like, upset that, you know, these two girls were co confronting her, co a corpse bride, you know, who was her friend at first, and, you know, obviously Victoria, and they were just, like, going at her, just, you know, talking down at her, just calling her out, just, you know, putting her on blast, just not in a screaming psychotic type of way but just mentioning like what she's done and pointing it out and just you know putting her on the spotlight in front of all of us and you know jay you know after being like 
that, you know, kind of manipulative person that she was, this time she was just, oh my gosh, she was just embarrassed. She was just not, you know, herself at that moment. Like, she she had no words. She had no words. She was speechless. Um, you know, she was, like confused because this was like a secret conversation between her and emmy wolf but now it was like emmy wolf betrayed her to her face <laughs> and you know and basically corpse bride was choosing victoria over her so that's you know that's when in that lunch room jay decides to just say okay like she just says okay like she was done and she didn't like reply to any of like the accusations or answer anything she just took her backpack and she walked off and that was the last time the team ever talked to or saw jay ever again yep that is how emmy wolf aka me how i betrayed my best friend and somehow Emmy Wolf was kind of glad that Jay was gone too, as Jay was, you know, kind of manipulative, kind of, um, you know, like, obnoxious. She was a little obnoxious. She was a little entitled, a little manipulative, controlling. She would take people's food from their plate for some reason. Um, but outside of that, it's... It, you know, Emmy Wolf, she just felt bad because once Jay quit the team, you know, Emmy Wolf was just, just she just looked like this tattletale, this snitch, and she didn't do it for, she didn't do it because she was against Jay. She did it because she was against Victoria. She did it because she wanted Victoria gone. But after she saw these two girls that decided to be on Victoria's side, the whole plan went to hell, you know? <laughs> The whole plan went to hell, and, you know, luckily for Jay... <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, guys. I'm sorry. What? Luckily for Jay, she never had to see Victoria again. Because once I tell you the stories that came after this, with Victoria as the main character, you guys won't believe it. You guys won't believe it. Like, Jay... Jay won this one, even though Emmy Wolf became the evil person. Because Jay got, she got to not live through what the rest of the team went through. Honestly, like, Emmy Wolf saved her a lot. Like, <laughs> oh my god. But yes, even though, like, now thinking about it, I'm ashamed. Emmy Wolf at the moment was ashamed. And, like, her plan from there on out was just to, like, somehow get these girls to see what Victoria really is. And it never really happened. Like, they never saw Victoria as the evil person. Like, <laughs> that's just, they just stayed friends, honestly. Like, I guess the three of them, I, four of them, basically. So it would be the, these three tall girls and then small, chubby Emmy Wolf from there on out <laughs> but yeah guys that's the story like i got more stories of course about this high school experience of mine and we'll just have to see how it goes from there and again like i said it's not my proudest moment it's just a story i remember and it does like all get better like in the end with the other stories that continue this one but that's you know how I ended up betraying my best friend, the friend that I started out with. And yeah, I hope you guys like this story time. Um, you know, if you have stories like this, you could share it in the comment section, I guess. And that's it for today, you know. I'm trying to get more back into this YouTube game uh, situation. And um, to update you guys on anything else, like I'll just say... Just go to Emmy Wolf Productions. That's where some of my, you know, projects ended up on. And you guys can check that out. You can go to Tumblr. And my name is Emmy, E-M-Y-Y dash wolf. And you can ask me whatever question you want over there. I'm just posting a lot of stuff over there. A lot of conspiracy stuff. Really fun stuff. Really interesting stuff. And I will try to get uh, more into the conspiracy stuff too. And play different games so look forward to that and <clears throat> like really cool conspiracy stuff like we're finding out that history is a lie like everything in schools and colleges and books is kind of a lie like pretty much like made up and they're finding out that you know humanity was like taken out and brought back and taken out again I'm not gonna use the word that people are using the great you know <clears throat> the great start 
or whatever. I'm just gonna call it. They, you know, they took out and brought back humanity, like basically. But they're finding out a lot of this stuff, and I would just love to get into all that. So get ready for some of those videos too. And yeah, let's just have fun with all this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.